Hey there, it's Stephanie from Janku, and today I'm going to show you how to use the ruler or measurement tool as called an Inkscape. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the ruler, and if you notice, it shows two different measurements. I'm just clicking and holding at the moment, but I'm going to select spacebar, and that's going to freeze that measurement right in place. So you'll notice there's this green box and that's telling us what the angle is compared to the origination point. And then this gray box, which is telling us what the distance is between the origination point and where we stopped. So if we go back to the ruler, and let's say we don't want to measure in pixels, we want to measure in feet, we can go back and select that. I'm going to keep it pixels for now. And if you find that you want to use the measurement tool as a display to show different objects and the distance and angles between them, like I said, you want to increase that font, you can go to the font size right here and increase that number so we can see it better. And that's what I'm going to do. I can't change this current font as we've already created it. This will only apply to future measurements that we create. So let's try it now going to hold down and as you can see the fonts are much larger. So I'm just going to hold, I'm just going to click the space bar and that's going to hold that right in place. So let's try to measure the distance between a square and a circle. I want to see what the distance is so I'm just going to click right on the edge and you'll notice that the last measurement that I had placed right above has disappeared so you can only do one of these at a time. So I'm going to select control and oops I forgot to hit the space bar. I'm going to hit the space bar now and what's showing is there's zero degrees there's no angle because I kept it a straight line but there's 347 pixels between the two objects. Now this might not be too exact. I kind of just placed the cursor on what I thought were the edges of the shapes. But what I can do is I can go to the snap, enable sm snapping tool, which you can do, you can go to one of these menu items and you can enable the snap tool. So you go to view and then you go to show hide and you'll notice I have everything checked off. So every every kind of command bar I have displayed. You might not have the snap bar enabled. Just go ahead and click that and you should get that check mark right along and this little bar right on the side. So let's say we want exact measurements. What we can do is we can go up to the snap bounding boxes and we can snap maybe to the midpoint of the shapes or we can snap to the corners and I'm going to go back to the ruler and as I hover you're going to notice it's going to automatically select that midpoint so I'm just gonna click and drag hold control after you hold control you want to go to the space bar oh here we go so one thing with the snapping menu and I'm just going to select one of these. One thing about the snapping menu is it's very powerful, but if you have too many options selected, it can be very difficult to snap to what you want to snap to because it's going to start identifying all sorts of different parts of the shape that you might not want to snap to. So when you're choosing what to snap to, be picky about how you want shapes or lines or rulers to snap with one another. Right here you'll see is 344 pixels between the objects. Now let's say we want to see what the angle of a corner is. I'm going to select the square and I'm just going to get rid of the stroke, the border around it, just because I think it's a little confusing. And we're going to go to the ruler and actually I'm going to select the midpoint snap just going to drag from the midpoint all the way to the end the, the corner of that square 
and then I'm going to hit spacebar. And you can see it says negative. We went in the opposite direction of a typical angle, um, but it is 90 degrees. So that's my quick tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Please feel free to comment below if you have any questions. And I look forward to showing you different tips and tricks on Inkscape.